What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network, where we continue the reading of the Optech newsletter. Today, number 12, on September 11, 2018. This week's newsletter references a discussion about BIP 151 encryption to the peer-to-peer -peer network protocol, provides an update on the compatibility between Bitcoin and the W3C web payment draft specification, and briefly describes some notable mergers in popular Bitcoin infrastructure projects. Action items. Allocate time to test Bitcoin Core version 0.17 release candidate 3. Bitcoin Core has uploaded binaries for version 0.17 release candidate 3. Testing is greatly appreciated and can help to ensure the quality of the final release. Plans for the second Optech workshop are progressing, with date and location confirmed for Paris on November 12th and 13th. The tentative list of topics is replace by fee versus child pays for parent as fee replacement techniques partially signed Bitcoin transactions, which is BIP-174, output script descriptors for wallet interoperability in GIST, Lightning wallet integration and applications for exchanges, approaches to coin selection and consolidation. Member companies who would like to send engineers to the workshop should email Optech. News. BIP 151 discussion, as mentioned in newsletter 10, Jonas Schnelli has proposed an update draft of BIP 151 encryption of the peer-to-peer -peer network protocol. Cryptographer Tim Ruffing provided constructive criticism of the draft on the Bitcoin DEV mailing list this week that received also constructive rebuttals from Schnelli and Gregory Maxwell. These posts may be interesting reads for anyone wondering why certain cryptographic choices were made in the protocol, such as the use of the New Hope quantum computing resistant key exchange. W3C Web Payment Working Group Update. The Lightning Network developer Christian Decker is a member of this group attempting to create standards for web-based payments. In a reply sent to the Lightning Dev mailing list, Decker explains why he thinks the current draft specification will be fundamentally compatible with both payments to Bitcoin addresses and Lightning Network payments. The draft even explicitly allocates the XBT currency code to Bitcoin. Notable commits. Notable commits this week in Bitcoin Core, LND, and C Lightning. Reminder, new merges to Bitcoin Core are made to its master development branch and are unlikely to become part of the upcoming version 0.17 release. You'll probably have to wait until version 0.18 in about six months from now. Bitcoin Core merge adds support for Rapid Check, a quick check re-implementation to Bitcoin Core, providing a property-based testing suite that generates its own test base on what programmers tell it are the properties of a function. For example, what it accepts as inputs and returns as outputs. Another Bitcoin Core merge removes the sign raw transaction RPC from the master developer branch. This RPC is labeled as depreciated and in the upcoming version 0.17 release and users are encouraged to use the sign raw transaction with key RPC when they are providing their own private key for signing or the sign raw transaction with wallet RPC when they want the built-in wallet to automatically provide the private key. Another Bitcoin Core merge provides documentation for output script descriptors, which are used in the new scan transaction outset RPC in Bitcoin Core version 0.17 and are expected to be used for other interactions with the wallet in the future. LND makes almost 30 merges in the past week. 
many of which are small enhancements of bug fixes to its autopilot facility. Its ability to allow users to choose to automatically open new channels with automatically selected peers. Several merges also updated with versions of libraries LND depends upon. C-Lightning adds several hundred lines of documentations to its repository this week, most of it inline code documentations or updates to files in the doc directory. Peers, as always, subscribe to the Bitcoin Optech newsletter and the usual thank you very much to the amazing Bitcoin Operations Technology Group for providing this wealth of resources you peers are amazing. As always, thank you very much for joining me and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.